My Casa de Valle is on the right side, but the pan, are you going to use your? No, we're just going to use your right, there it is, here. good. The next Pectinate muscle. It's up in the auricles, in the uh, both sides, this is the left. See the uh, struts, yeah, see the branched pectinate. structure? Right. Coronary sinuses. Coronary uh, sinus is, um, all right, it's on the posterior side, outside, oh yeah, this is the correct side, and it's right in this area. See if we can probe it. Uh, the coronary sinus. Let's see if we can probe it from the right side. Okay, we'll need a nice probe. Right yeah, that's it. A nice probe. And coronary sinus is right here. Yeah, there it is. I thought it, there it is on the posterior side. That's external. And I had to probe it inside, inside the right atrium. And that's the coronary sinus. The big, uh, it's a it's a vein, but it's real fat, so they call it a sinus. Papillary muscles. Oh, that's that's neat. Oh, that's easy. All right, pull it. And this is uh, here's your papillary muscles are projections of the myocardium that are attached to the chordae tendineae that are attached to the cusps of the valves. This is the mitral, by the way. This is the thick side. See that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Oh, let me do this. Wait a minute. Here's your papillary muscle here. Whoa. See that? All right. All right, so then chordate tendineae. And there's the chordate tendineae between the papillary muscles and the cusps. And during uh, systole, it contracts and pulls that cusp so it won't prolapse, so it keeps it damp. All right. Wraps, right. So then we have the moderator band, which we All found right. right in here. We only had one moderator band right there. Ready? Ready? Yeah, just hold that. Thing. Right here? Oh, yeah, there it is. And the number six. That's, it connects the wall of the uh, ventricles to the septum and it adds strength. That's a, nice, that's a good one, nice and thick. And there, look, here's a branch of it. See the variations? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so then you have the pulmonic similary valve. All right, All right. okay, and let's find it. It's out front, did we cut in? It's gonna be right in here. Here's your pulmonary did trunk. Cut? Did you cut it? All right, let's find it inside the little all right, okay, there should be inside here. All right, let's, so let's find it. Oh, here it is here, whoops. Here's your pulmonary trunk, and inside are three cusps uh, of the pulmonic semilunar valve uh, there. And it's inside, you can't see the valves. What about the mitral valve? Mitral valve, we can see it. Uh, we run the left side, here are some cusps. For the mitral valve, there's two major cusps. They're running together, and of course they're attached to the chordate tendon. This is the thick side, how thick the uh, ventricle is compared to the uh, right side. Aortic semilunar, semilunar valve. All right, the aortic semilunar valve would be in the aorta. And let's find the aorta, and this is the one we cut over. Here's the ascending aorta. It's coming up from the uh, left ventricle, and inside you'll see some cusps. Just, yeah. just one right here. Yep. And here's one of the cusps we didn't cut through completely. There's three cusps here too. This is the aortic semilunar valve. It looks good. And behind two of the cusps are the left and right coronary arteries. So you got the right. Okay, interventricular septum. All right, that's right here. It's, be, it's the septum between the right side and the left side. This is not an anatomical. Yeah, well, yes, uh, actually it is. It's just cut. All right, so where's the fossa ovalis? Fossa ovalis, ovalis. Uh, okay, it would be in the atria, and it's on the right side. Oh, you have a pin there. Have a Very pin. good. Yeah. 14. It's just a depression, it's remnant of when it was the. Um, foramen ovale. It was a hole at one time called the foramen ovale. All right, so then the coronary sulcus. The coronary sulcus. It should be in the same area. Okay? Yeah, it goes all the way around. It's sort of on the outside. It's between the atria. It's right in this area. You have our coronary arteries there. There's one of them there. And it goes all, the sulcus goes all the way around. It's like this. All the way around. Posterior and anterior.